everyone welcome to another video i'm doing things a little bit differently this time uh because this is a sklog basically i have some footage of me doing um drawing studies in my sketchbook that i have uh inter kind of spursed with uh of just clips i took from life in january and february um i've been thinking about a new like new ways of vlogging. Uh, I still enjoy vlogging, but I know that it's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, so I've been thinking about new ways to kind of integrate vlog elements uh, into some other type of video content. Uh, so I started this like study practice session with hand drawings. Uh, I'm not that fond of drawing with hands. Uh, I don't really think too many artists actually are, but everyone knows that it's really important to get good at. Uh, it's really important to kind of take the time to study drawing hands. And so I decided to go ahead and just kind of start with that. Lately, I have been kind of in an art funk. Um, I've alluded to this before. I have done uh, cute comfort type drawings like animals with sweaters. I did a whole video on that. But another useful thing to do when you're kind of in an art funk is to just do studies because you're not focusing on being directly creative. Um, you're just kind of trying to get better. And especially if you can kind of go into it with an attitude of like, it's just practice, it doesn't matter. That can actually be incredibly freeing um, for you when you're, even if you're not feeling creative or not feeling particularly inspired. So after I drew the hands, I moved on to um, like poses. I went with some dynamic poses. I particularly enjoy drawing dynamic poses. I think they show off the forms and shapes of the human body in a way that is like sometimes a little easier to sort of draw and understand. Sometimes, sometimes it's not. Um, and it also helps you get a sense of motion and action like what shapes the body makes when it's like active and um, help you it helps you to convey a sense of motion in your drawings which is something that is very important to me so i basically have been drawing from references i've saved from pinterest um i know a lot of other artists do this too i i was actually a little bit annoyed because as i was looking through my pinterest board i realized a lot of the poses that i've saved like i've drawn already before um which you know it's gonna happen uh it's kind of inevitable and again i still think pinterest is a great place to like look for and save images i will say that it's gotten a lot more ad laden than it used to be uh and i've been kind of craving uh new reference um inspiration so i might need to go track some of that down but i for tonight the night i did this i just wanted to draw and not overthink things so i just went ahead and did some poses that i've probably already drawn before but it was still good practice for me to do that and now it's time for vlog section so it snowed a few times this January, um, got a few inches each time, and I love a good white winter, so I was pretty happy about that. And Suki loves the snow, absolutely adores it, so she was happy too. Are you ready? You ready? I'm ready, I'm so ready, okay. I got to take Suki on several snowy walks this winter, all of which she thoroughly enjoyed. Some of my favorites were taking her to the big field near our house where she had a nice long leash and she could run and jump and frolic uh, and just absolutely enjoy herself.
Cats had a slightly different attitude towards the snow. And since Koji's scratching post was kind of falling apart, I rewrapped it with colored rope this time, and he clearly loves it. In January, I also got to try out this moss diorama kit that I got as a birthday present back in August. In January, I also finally had the chance to put up two prints from my friend Lise Hopland. She is a fantastic printmaker from Norway. This piece is called Two Sides, and I just love the composition, I love the design, I love the contrast. And the other piece, which is my absolute favorite, is called The Lies We Tell, and it is a visual depiction of Eve and the Serpent from the Genesis account. I just love the design, love the execution of this. Seriously, go check Lisa's work out. I'll have a link to her stuff in the description. And on February 1st, I did Hourly Comics. So if you don't know what Hourly Comics is, it's basically this drawing challenge where you draw what you did every hour of the day on February 1st. It's been around for like a few years now, and I have actually participated in it in a few years. And it's just always such an interesting exercise. It's kind of this like visual diary where you get to record all these little moments, the little mundane things, uh, and the unique things of that day. And it's such a neat thing to get to look back on and to see what things change this change and what things stay the same over the years. Plus, I always love looking at other people's uh, hourly comics and getting an insight into their lives. Uh, so this is all the comics I made for this year. Um, it was actually kind of a lot. And if you want to read them in greater detail, you should check them out on my Instagram. I have all of them posted. You can kind of go through, read all the little prints, see everything. This is just kind of a quick glance over of uh, everything just kind of in a, a brief phase. But if you want to read them in more detail, check out my Instagram. Link in the description. It's carrying an American flag! Oh my gosh. <gasps> so that's a general overview of what happened uh, the past two-ish months. Obviously it's not everything. Uh, and one thing that uh, unfortunately has still been an issue is my depression. I know I've talked about it a few times before. I am trying not to sound like a broken record, but it is something that I do deal with on a regular basis, that and my anxiety. And unfortunately, lately, my depression has made it really hard to do things, even things that I enjoy or find fun or... Uh, find meaningful. I know uh, if any of you struggle with depression, you probably have experienced that feeling of you know something is important to do, but it's just so hard to do. And that's kind of where I was with just putting this vlog, sclog, <laughs> together. Um, but I'm glad that I pushed through. I'm glad that I was able to try something a little different, and I hope you all uh, enjoyed watching it. I do still really love making videos, and I want to keep making them. Uh, I know that it feels kind of hard right now, partly because of the depression and partly because I've been doing this for a year now, which is super exciting, but it means that new shiny project, new fun thing uh, vibe has worn off, and now you kind of have to put in the work and get good and work from where you're not very great into being better. 
uh, and that's just a lot of effort but I still like want to do this and I still enjoy making videos so I'm going to do my best to keep doing that I think that is gonna be it for now I will uh, finish up this sketchbook sp uh, spread with some animal drawings and I'll put on a little bit of music and let you enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> 